Okay, so live again today. If you missed the quick uh, head sketch session, session, section, session this morning, uh, it's available in my replays. It'll have the same date, and um, I think I, I actually said Iron Man and the Hulk. So welcome everybody. I am John Beatty, and it is January twenty second. And I just busted my lead. <laughs> January 22nd, 2019. And uh, what I have here is the small prelim. I hope you can see this under my, uh, they call this like a little trace pad or it's not a light box because it's not a box, but it's streamlined now. They're nicer. Uh, back in the day. You used to have this literally like a box or I used to have a nice drawing board that uh, was a light table. I printed out uh, printed out this so I can get the um, spider that my exec designed. Um, hold on one second. I got to take care of this text here. Uh, my wife had just called and said that um, Jacob was feeling better. He got a pretty high fever this weekend. And he's, he's doing well now, thank God. And now, uh, okay. Okay, so uh, the first step to doing this commission, this is a 9 by 12 full figure, and the first step I did um, was to do a thumbnail, which uh, <laughs> is a tiny one, um, hence the name thumbnail, but I like the pose. It was on another sheet with a couple other. I don't know if you can see through here, but it's the symbiote spider and Spider-Man. He's got his arms kind of behind him. The webbing's going to go off into this direction. So I just tried to do something a little different. And uh, the person that commissioned this was actually watching the stream the night I was. Uh, it was a Friday night, a couple Friday nights ago. If you want to see it, uh, maybe I'll be able to. Um, I'll be able to find it, and then on the end card on this stream. I will be able to um, put it up and it'll link you in case you want to see me sketching out the ideas. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I have a 2B lead in here. I'm going to trace through on my 9 by 12 pad and or uh, paper and tighten this up a bit and get it ready for inking. Now, I'm not sure. I don't plan on spending a lot of time on this uh, process, but it'll take a little bit of time. Um, I'm not going to fill the blacks in. I will just kind of indicate them. Don't know if I'll get that far today. I need to get some reference for the hands because they're going to be in a position behind him. So I need to kind of figure those out. So I will probably just use like the little ball there so that, uh, that I just have a position. And I'll have to look online or something for hands that are going to be twisted in the way I want them to be holding the webbing. Um, and I'm just going to tweak the anatomy and stuff. Uh, tighten it up and get it ready for inks, which um, I guess that will be step two. I, I, you know, it, it depends. We'll see how far I get on this. Uh, basically, I just want to make sure every everything is in proportion and lines up well. So if you have any questions, put them in the chat room, say hello. Um, if this is your first time uh, to my channel, welcome. And if you haven't done so already, you can uh, subscribe 
down here there should or in one of these corners there should be a little red subscribe button if you hit that uh, you'll subscribe to my channel it's free little bell is going to pop up and uh, that's just for notification so that whenever I'm live or have loaded up new recorded content you'll be able to know that I've checked up uh, that I've put something that I've put something up and uh, you can always give this a thumbs up if you like it or you can give it a thumbs down if you don't like it and last but not least after the stream is done the live stream if you're watching this now it'll come up afterwards if you're watching this after it's live there'll be a comment section if you'd like to leave a comment or ask a question please feel free to put it down there and uh there's some more information about me some other links to where where you can find me at online and without further ado i will first of all say hello to mr ag i believe he was my first uh he was the first person to stumble across me when I started doing YouTube and helped me out with uh, sound and stuff like that. I was able to ask him, could he hear me and how did it sound? And we worked it out. And hello, Joseph. How are you doing? Welcome. Glad you could come to the uh, to the midday stream here. And I did get your order. And uh, are you going to be at the, uh, the 7 p.m. sketch, uh, quick sketch tonight? And when I do this, I just, I do it fairly lightly because I don't want to dig into the paper. So uh, hopefully, um, hopefully you're seeing a little bit. And I'm just still keeping it a little bit loose. Um, Okay, uh, Joseph says he's hoping to make it to the quick sketch uh, tonight, but he has some plans that might uh, might be cut short to make it. So, so we'll see. Hopefully, we'll have a good turnout. Um, I sold out of the five fairly quickly. Uh, I have a couple people wanting to know if they can get in and what I might do is um, maybe what I might do I do have some other stuff like this and even some other stuff to do maybe I'll open it up to five more again tomorrow night and see how that goes now I want to say I was doing 20 for the quick ones with free shipping but uh, I just got back from the post office <coughs> excuse me I'll take a drink of water here I just got back from the post office and spent $25 on shipping <laughs> and uh, so I figure I mail these out uh, in a nice sturdy mailer and I pay for those. Uh, I get them from Uline. Um, they fit the uh, six by eight paper uh, perfect, and they they are sturdy. I haven't had anybody uh, say they've come bent, so I've been very lucky in a sturdy mailer. Uh, and I've I just send them out first class with tracking, which normally costs me uh, three fifty. And then the envelopes that I purchase are um, they're at the dollar mark, right around the dollar a piece. So uh, I had kind of been looking at numbers and realizing I'm, I'm just losing too much money on including free shipping on a $20 uh, drawing. So that's the reason. That's the real reason I'm, I'm not trying to make money on postage. I'm just trying not to uh, lose money. Because at $25, it's 
it's still a good deal or well i think it is and hopefully you all do too it seems like uh everybody's uh, been very satisfied with, with what i've been doing so that's good i'm gonna take that as a positive and run with it AG says it's a bit snowy here. Well, that's why I don't live where it snows. <laughs> yes, it is some good time to watch some art. Get in that bunker, that's right. Oh, I forget the name of that clown. Uh, but you you know the ones that I do, the quick ones are just uh, just with a brush pen. Or even a brush marker sometimes. And I forget the name of that clown. Yeah, okay. You got it. Just a quick one. Uh, Joseph, there's actually an uh, episode guide to the... Um, to the spawn that I did for AG. Has posted Joe, is it going up again? And you know what? Um, postage is, all, uh, postage. Mail has also slowed down um, in delivery. It's gotten really, really bad. And I have no idea it has nothing to do with the government shutdown because the post office is not as in, do I want to say in bed with the government uh, now as they used to be? I think they kind of broke off somehow. I can't remember exactly uh, what the deal is. But... Um, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, uh, one that I sent close to Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm here in Daytona Beach, Florida. It's like an eight-hour drive, eight-and-a-half-hour drive. Took a week to get there. And then some that I sent out west were there in like two days. So I, I have no idea what, you know, what's going on. But yeah, uh, Joe, uh, Joseph, what the, uh, the clown is, um, if you go to the playlist of the daily live draws, um, if you got time, you can even, um, you can watch me uh, work on it. I did notice, uh, I will say this, I did notice that my PM, I did a daily live draw in the evening last, last week. And for some weird reason, it seemed like my numbers of, like all time watches have, has kind of slowed down on those. It's almost like when I did it in the morning well, and it, it kind of makes sense and it kind of don't. I was getting a few more. And when I say a few more, I mean three, four, maybe a little bit more like viewers live. But in the long run, the ones in the morning were picking up more viewing um afterwards you know people couldn't make it while it was live which a lot of people couldn't when i was doing it at 7 a.m then i went to 9 10 9 or 10 o'clock um but i get it 
you know, I'm I'm an early bird, so I like to get up and get busy. And a lot of people like to sleep in. And I'll tell you what, if I was in a cold weather climate, I think I would hibernate. Stay under the covers. <laughs> So what I'm trying to do is just maintain what I had in the sketch, transfer it onto the paper that I'm going to finish this piece on. And then once I get the, the basic shapes, I'll take it further. So like I said, I'm going to need some reference for the hands. So like on this little sketch, I just kind of indicated them. I had like a ball or an ellipse. So I'm just going to do that here because I still need to get the right. Uh, I need to Google up some hands and get the right angle. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Joseph says, sometimes I wonder if the mail gets lost and they just happen to find it later on. Man, and he says that his day yesterday, the weather, it started out at minus seven degrees. And I thought mine was bad. We actually were, I think we were in the 40s starting out yesterday and I don't think it got over 55 which for Florida that that is a cold day when we don't get well we may have hit 59 but I don't think we ever got to 60 so in Daytona Beach that's uh, that's a pretty cold day I know it's it's not what you guys went through, but, you know, for us, it was pretty bad, pretty cold. I can hear your all's tears for me, <laughs> but hey, that's why I did stay in Florida, right? It was in Michigan, about an hour and a half north of the Indiana border. Heard it's going to be a below average uh, winter temperature wise this year. Yeah, uh, it's it's been cold here. I mean, you know, for for Florida, it's 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 been cold. I, I, I don't know how you all do it in that uh, minus degree weather. I, I kind of, I've, I've dealt with it a bit uh, when I used to go up and hang out at Mike's ex place in the winter and the summer and in Connecticut. And we'd go into New York and we'd have to deal with New York and Connecticut weather. Um, and that was kind of what actually made me want to stay in Florida was those trips. I would take, I would take two trips so I could, I don't mean to hiss in the microphone. <laughs> I'm just kind of talking and breathing out. Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, I would take two trips once in the one in the, uh, summer and, another in the winter 
just kind of split it up and get different seasons to go into Marvel and DC and see other people during that time. And I remember, I remember it being cold and remember not wanting to, I would drive sometimes also. I wouldn't fly all the time because I wanted to be able to kind of have my vehicle and I had to dig it out a few times. Not fun. And I guess the part about digging it out is even if you're not going anywhere, you got to dig it out so that the snow on your car does not turn to ice and cause all sorts of other problems. So, there you have it. You have to go dig your car out too. Yeah, I know about bundling up. I just, uh, I'd rather not have to wear like a ton of clothes. Uh, I know that sounds horrible, but what I mean is you know, if I, if I don't have to, I'd, I'd rather not have to wear like a bunch of, uh, bunch of layers don't get me wrong, I enjoy a good jacket. I used to have a couple of nice uh, leather jackets when I rode my motorcycle. I realized what an asset they were, uh, even in Florida, because you get out on the road and that air and uh, also something hitting you can, can really hurt unless you're covered by a jacket. Not to mention, if you ever get in a wreck, you can get some really serious uh, shorter breaking bones and stuff. But I mean, if you just lay a bike down, which I thankfully never did, I know that leather will protect you from some serious road rash. Okay, and I can see now this foot's going to be a bit long, so I'm going to adjust it. And that would be my sister. I'm going to put my microphone on mute and just tell her to... All right, and I'm back. Sister just uh, giving me a report that she took my mother to get groceries. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, you know, here's the deal. I, I could put my phone on the do not disturb 
but my sister's one of the people that I have to, um, cause she, uh, she helps me take my mom around and stuff. So I kind of have to communicate with her. I love her, but she seems to call it some weird times. I needed to ask her a question too. I forgot, but I'll do it later. Um, So this was a pretty, I don't know, I mean, I had never seen it before. This pose with Spider-Man with his arms behind him, kind of, almost like a, um, almost like a gymnast type pose. It would almost be something like a daredevil pose, I guess, if, if I had to say. I always liked it when when there was a daredevil pose and he, daredevil always when he swings it seems like he was kind of like this you know a little less spidery and this I don't feel is that spidery but I just like it I just really like the pose and the person that is purchasing the commission was like I said watching and liked it too so we decided to run with it so right now I have, I should have enough traced off. Um, let's take a look. Gonna have to fix those eyes a bit. That's fine. Just get them in there for placement. So I have enough now where I can actually get rid of this. And I'll put it on my stack of paper, my ever-growing stack of paper behind me. And take this off the drawing board. And um, usually what I would do here, uh, and, and uh, I'm not going to do it, um, only for the fact that I think you all can see it better right now but i i will do it uh later <laughs> that's funny joseph yeah or i'll call you joe or joseph whichever um it is it it you know it didn't occur to me that night but it is more of a a daredevil-esque pose but uh I, nonetheless i i still like it so normally what i would do at this point is i would take this needed eraser and i would dab everything out even lighter again but since y'all are watching and it might get too too light, um, I'm going to keep it as is. I'm not even going to bother with the eyes right now. As you can see, they're a little bit wonky. They need to be shaped up some. Uh, I also think I will take a look at the shape of the skull again. But again, right now, my main focus is just keeping that, you know, getting this transferred onto the actual board. And then I'll maybe have another session where I'm penciling before I go to inks. And then we will tighten up everything in pencil, ink it, and then it will be done. Okay, Joe's good. Yeah, that's uh, that's the thing, AG, is I, I think you were on that stream too. Uh, this is for David, and we both agreed that, you know, we kept coming back to this pose saying, you know, there's something about that that is kind of cool. Um, so, uh, he gave it the approval which is kind of nice because usually um, when I do a commission, I just do them. And it was nice to have him in the room so I could ask him, do you like this? You know, you want to 
you want to kind of sign off on it, so to speak. And I will, you know, he could kind of get a, you know, he's kind of watching a prelim that normally he wouldn't see be done and being able to say yes or no to it. All right, so and now let's go ahead. Can I get this? Uh, I'll tell you that this uh, this Black Spider-Man suit has been interpreted quite a few different ways. However. I still like to go back to the way that Mike and I originally intended it, or the way, not I, but the way Mike drew it. And some people, you know, bring it way up here first and then drop it down and stuff. But as you can see, Mike just has it coming from here, going down, and then up instead of a... a Sometimes people do real short here up and come way up, you know, and then sling the arms down. So I'm going to treat, yeah, I'm going to treat it and keep it as traditional towards Secret Wars 8 as I possibly can. And that means this spider's little pincher teeth are going to get up here. And again, this will all be cleaned up once. You know, again, it'll be cleaned up. So let's see. We're going to kind of drop this out. Um, just down a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little. Then it comes up. Then it comes up on the peck. And down... And then that would wrap around to his back. And they they kind of connect in the back. It would wrap around his side and connect. Then the other thing I did that, that Mike, uh, he kind of has the head with a little extra. You know, I started out with a ball. That's fine. A little extra thing here. It's goes more like that. So I am gonna erase that out so I can. <clears throat> Excuse me, voice is uh, getting a little raspy. Time to clear the throat out. And sorry for letting y'all have that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's, uh, and I want to put that center line back in to keep me honest and move it a little bit. All right. And then eventually, I'll come back in and get the other ones. But for right now, I'm just going to indicate about where I think it's going to fall. This one is going to be a little bit longer because it's not as foreshortened. Those might need some work, we'll see. And then he brings this shape. Down. I think I might have to adjust it. It might have to go a little bit longer. Uh, 
And a little bit more up. I think that's going to be better. Okay. And we have room for the bottom of his tail, which I I suppose spiders might have a little pincher there. I don't know if that was just a design element Mike put in or maybe if that's uh I'm just gonna put this off to the side if that's the way it goes. Hey Peter. How you doing? Um, it depends on the commission. Uh, I just had the $25. It's 25. I was charging 20, but I went ahead and threw in five bucks for postage because um, postage had been kind of killing me, uh, especially since I buy my own. Uh, well, of course I buy my own. Uh, envelopes but they're a nice envelope um, to mail stuff in so it just depends on the commission the size the amount of work if you're thinking of something um, hit me up uh, if you look in the information down below this stream you'll see my email address let me know what you want and I can give you a price on it. And while you're, if you have any trouble with that, let me know while you're, you know, you can type in that you got it or not. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to say hello to Ron. Uh, thanks, Ron. Yeah, we were just discussing this pose that it's really more of a daredevil pose. We just kind of noticed it. I want to say good afternoon to Dr. Kaz back. You got it, uh, you got it, Peter? You got my email down there? Just um, just let me know what you're thinking about, uh, you know, whether it's small, large. Um, I do inking only commissions. If you have pencil art from another artist, I can either blue line it or ink the original. Um, so, yeah, uh, definitely... There's, I will tell you right now, there's a bit of a wait, so um, I'm a little, little bit booked up, but we can still discuss it, so you can, um, so you can have an idea of of what you're looking at, and you know, if it's in your budget, then. We can work out all the finer details over email. I think what I'm going to do is throw this out under his arm a little more. All right. And let's see. Time to get rid of this line. Now, if I wasn't doing this on a live stream, I would probably not even worry about cleaning this up. But... I kind of want to show you guys um, a little bit cleaner line art. Again, these eyes are not going to stay. Yes, they are wonky. I know it. Uh, I got to work on that a little bit. <laughs> Dr. Kaz, did you did did you see the Hulk I did this morning? I'm I'm I I I I tell you the truth. I looked at some Bill Sienkiewicz, uh this weekend, and when I got to your piece, I got experimental and free and loose. And I'll tell you what, I had a good time. Ah, did, so you saw it, or maybe you saw it on a replay. Let me let me show it to you because even after the thing, I I, I added some more spittle in the mouth with a white pen. 
And um, I'll tell you what, I, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. But if it's not your cup of tea, I understand. So here was the, like I said, I looked at some, I, I, I joined a Bill Sienkiewicz uh, fan, uh, fan, fan page on Facebook. And I, so I saw a lot of his sketching. So I think I got a lot of intensity in this. <laughs> I love it. So I'm glad you guys like it because I want to experiment and, you know, it's tough for me to, to do because, you know, I mean, this was a $20 sketch. So, but if Dr. Kaz didn't like it, he's been really good to me. Um, I would definitely redo it. If he loves it, then then I'm I'm good with that. But uh, yeah, I uh, got a little bit of whiteout going here just to kind of get like a staticky, um, just to kind of put some of that Bill Sienkiewicz energy. Went in, got some more spittle going, so he's really got the uh, saliva stirrings. So hopefully Dr. Kaz is getting a good look. And because I'm going to take it away, because we're here for the symbiote Spider-Man. <laughs> yes, you did. All right. Yeah, I'm going to... I think Dr. Kaz wants it, but until he uh, definitely lets me know, like, yes, I will. Okay, good. Do, do you see the energy I got in that thing? I, I mean, I had a great time on it this morning. I hadn't drawn in a while, and like I said, looking at the Sienkiewicz stuff, I always admire his freedom to just just go out there and you know really put stuff out in a bold way yeah Walt Simonson too all right well that's good So, um, okay, now I'm going to go back to my uh, Mike Zek's uh, spider reference and kind of dial this in um, a little bit more. And I see now that uh, Mike has these more hooked. It's almost pincher like. Or horn like. And I think I got them a little big. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to take them down just a bit. Uh, like I, you know, for those of you who didn't come right in at the beginning of the stream, I know this, uh, like spider suit just like anything it's kind of been interpreted a lot of different ways but I feel I kind of feel you know when I do it I need to keep the version that Mike and I did with Venom I, I kind of just go with whatever reference I have on hand. <clears throat> but um, Black Suit Spider-Man, I, uh, I always want to keep it as close to Mike's original design as possible. Now, there are some good variations on it. I, I will say that. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, I know, Ron. Easy, easier said. It it all goes back to that uh, kind of that discussion I said before about my commercial style and my artistic style, and that's why I'm glad you guys are willing to let me, uh, you know, try things. Um, because that's not always the case when you're hired for a commercial job because here's a deal. Uh, this is like the, the rule, the rule of rules. Okay, I'm going to give away the rule of rules is you, you show the work that you want to get. And it's hard for me to show that work because I don't have a lot of it. So when I get to really stretch my creative wings, it's nice to to have folks that will let me uh, take those chances on on their commissions. And Ron, you you will be on tonight uh, with the play-by-play -play, uh, at seven, or shortly thereafter, whenever you get in. Don't don't rush. You know, I have a list. I I know what I'm doing, but it does help for for you to um, keep an eye on the chat while I'm drawing. I will try to get them done. And of course, the first one, and I had another, that's why I, I always kind of on those want two requests because I get a lot of uh, Black Spider-Man suit headshots. And um, the very first one, uh, Killian from Belgium wants one, and he was the first one to ask, so... Um, I will do that for him. Now, here's the catch. I think this is the catch 22. <laughs> this is this is the one that I might attempt. And, you know, it might fail. But somebody asked for the, I think, a black suit Spider-Man or Punisher. Now, I am... You all know the way I feel about doing the Punisher, but I, I don't know if I can do two black suit Spider-Mans. So, dun, 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 dun. It might be the night I do a quick sketch of the Punisher. So... So it could happen. I think it's going to have to. And and tonight will be my third stream of the day. Now, if things go well tonight, if I if I get in a groove because I'm I'm feeling good, if the energy stays up, uh, I I did get a fairly decent uh, night of sleep. I went to bed early, uh, early ish. I think it was you know, maybe around my normal time of eight o'clock. I got up at three. Um, my body just woke me up, but that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hours of sleep. So when I woke up, I, uh,
I made sure everything was okay, kind of. From what I could tell, everybody in the other room was breathing nice and clear, which made me feel good. I didn't hear any congestion or any little boogies or anything like that. So I got in the shower. Then I heard Bella's alarm go off. That must have been around five. I, I did play a couple of games in chess that I... I stupidly lost one because I could not check. I wasn't, I was playing the 10 minute chess and I wasn't paying attention to the time. I was too busy collecting somebody's pieces by luck. You know, I think these, these chess things must run in streaks, but I wound up getting a stalemate and losing like a point because I couldn't checkmate the person that was playing against me. They were white, and since they got to move first, that's what happens. Stalemate, you, I, I lost a point. Did not like that. I should have, uh, should have won that game. So anyway, what I was saying is I might, um, if I have time, I'll see how tonight goes. And I might offer up the other five, uh, another five quick head sketches tomorrow. Depends on how fun they are tonight and how I'm feeling. Um, I I do realize, you know, Jacob being sick was, and he's still sick, but he's getting a lot better. Very stressful. You parents already know that. I'm not telling y'all anything new. Um, it's hard to see your kid kind of not understand what's going on. And Truthfully, this was the first time that Jacob really felt like, you know, was really fe feeling the body aches and stuff when he, he just turned six on December 7th. And before when he got sick, he never complained about body aches or anything. But this time, uh, said his neck was stiff and so that, that kind of alarmed me. And on these, I'm going to, the way I inked it here, I'm going to try to duplicate that and kind of let the, uh, let that go into, um, into his back kind of taper. Because what I'm going to do is have a lighting like from the city coming up. So I'm going to have one light source from below and I'm going to have another light source from above. So we'll get a nice, uh, we'll get white highlights on this side and we'll get white highlights from behind him. And I'm thinking about actually, we'll see, making the white highlights on, well, if this was color, it'd really be cool. And I don't know, when Mike designed this costume, it seems to me like I remember him telling me that it was supposed to be kind of a darker black uh, than the normal costume. And that the highlights were not as well pronounced. Meaning, you know, there was 
more shadow and 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 less like musculature area so when i do spider-man like this i try to keep that in mind all right now and this will uh, this is uh like i said i am calling this i'm gonna make a playlist called comic art studio commissions and this will be where i put this type of stuff um and i can re i can reorder it in the correct position so if i start on another one before this is done they can be in correct order so that in the future if somebody wants to come in and you know watch the series depending on how many it is this one i think maybe could be one more or maybe two more i might do final pencils on one and then inking on the last one now i don't know maybe i'll finish the pencils off a of stream because it can it can you know i mean maybe not to most of you guys but to some people it can be kind of boring inking can be boring i mean i you know that's why I try to keep the conversation going. But I know that uh, I know that a lot of you all are kind of, you know, studying and uh, learning is, you know, picking up some pointers and I'm trying to help you as much as I can. So I do see that uh this space and this space is quite a bit of difference and i think it might be i think i can lower i think i can lower this one so that's what i'm gonna do gotta lower this one now it can be a little bit higher because but i think right about here will be much better because as you can see mike has this uh you know this curves you know here's his hip bone right here so it's it's a little lower because it's it's slinging down. It's it's stretching. So we're gonna do that like that. And this one here was fine. Could have left that. I think it was just that bottom one, and then that gives me a little more space. Because right now I'm just dead waiting this the space in between the the spider arms, but when I ink it, they'll get the the nice thick to thin that uh, that's in the reference. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Ag. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, you know, I I too, I'm like you. Um, when I watch other people work, it inspires me. Uh, it encourages me. Um, and I learn, you know, I try to learn. There's, uh, it's actually kind of interesting because as you all know, I'm, I'm very new and still new to doing watercolor. But the amount that I've picked up from just watching YouTube videos on watercolor has been pretty amazing. And I still have a long way to go, but I never thought I would 
would develop a, a certain amount of confidence. Now I'm not, you know, believe me, I know that's, I said a mouthful and I'm not making more out of it than it is, but from watercolor being one of my worst fears to now being one of my, you know, favorite things to do. It says a lot. And, and there's one, there's one lady on YouTube. Oh, there's actually a couple, but one's an elderly lady. I don't mean that in a negative way. She's maybe in her forties. Then there's a girl and uh, I can't remember either, their, uh, either of their names, but they're both very good in watercolor and, uh, I've learned some interesting things from watching both of them. In fact, the uh, the one lady that I watch, she she went over and she did a thing about cheap paint versus expensive paint, and is it worth it? And of course, instead of like kind of student grade cheap paint she used crayola watercolors which i thought was a little bit unfair because i think we all know most of the time the crayola stuff is going to be used by kids but anyway i think she you know i'm sure some people can take those crayola watercolors and do masterpieces never underestimate your opponent, right? Anyway, it was interesting. And then she also did the same thing. She did like some paper tests. And I always find that intriguing. Okay, so this is coming along pretty good now. We're getting there. I'll kind of pan up. This is like, I have this camera set for perfect uh, six by eight drawing. I should keep that in mind for the next session on this piece, which might be tomorrow. Um, that I need to just pull the camera back a little bit. All right, let's see if I can't fix these eyes. Let's see. Let's get this center line. Let's get that little circle in there where the webbing would normally go, but it's not there on the black suit. And let's give it the classic. John Vermita, Peter Parker. Shaped skull. And jaw or at least as close as I can get to that. Romita really had a way of drawing the head underneath the mask. It is Tuesday and I hear the the vacuum cleaner lady. That means I might have to go into a whisper. <laughs> nah. I will be wrapping this session up fairly soon. And that 
I'm about uh, about done uh, to where I wanted to be. Um, once I get these eyes fixed, I got to get reference for these hands and get those drawn in. And those are not going to be fun. Those might be a little tough. And I also want to set up a, <clears throat> excuse me, a YouTube um, live event for tonight for the quick head sketches. And like I said, I wanted to limit it to five, I think. Just about, you know, let me let me get five done and if it works out, I I will probably uh, open it up to five again tomorrow because I did have some people that maybe weren't aware, caught off guard, um, got to it too late. But I, I do feel better kind of you know, not feeling like, um, I mean, they are quick, but for me, quick is, you know, you guys know, <laughs> it's all kind of relative in a, in a way. Uh, but I try to do them a little bit faster. They're not as detailed as my daily live draw pieces at all. Um, but I kind of like that. Um, there is that certain looseness and freedom that I get knowing, you know, knowing that, that people understand, hey, look, it's a quick sketch. It's going to be good, but it's, it's just not going to be if I spent hours on it you know you might get an hour uh tops on some of the harder ones or stuff that i need to reference now that's looking better now to get rid of the and you know what i'm gonna go ahead and clean these up Again, you know, that was probably something I would just ink from if I kind of wasn't doing a little bit of a series here. Yeah, yeah, I can still see it, so you all must. Now, I will show you, just because I, I have it here, this is my dried up ink. I left it here, and it's like uh, that. I would think that would peel out, but it won't. I'm going to take this home and put some dish detergent in it and see if that'll loosen up that dried ink and see if it'll slide out. Because I don't use this one for color. I have this one for color because I've noticed that the black ink, um, it tends, for some reason, it tends to stick in there. So I'll take it home, put some dish detergent in it, and hopefully make sure I bring it back because sometimes on the quick ones, when I if if I get a big now I will say the 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 Captain America, it's over my scanner. I'd show you. I didn't use any blacks on that. Number one, it sped me up. Number two, it looked great. Now, I know I can't do that on a black suit Spider-Man or characters like that, but on Captain America, you know what? The blacks on his uh, costume are nice, but 
on a sketch like that. It's just kind of extra time because you're getting all the features, you're getting the A on the mask and the wings and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, it's a good thing, but on a quick sketch, I really like the way it came out without it. And that one will also go to the owner of this piece, David, along with the painted Black Panther piece. As you can tell on this second, I even had the um, the chin even disappears into the top black of the costume. Um, so there was not, you know, no highlights on top, uh, only here and on the legs, very little highlighting. So again, um, I think Mike's idea was to have a very, um, you know, costume being black was was meant to be very black. And the one that uh, Leonardi did, the turn drawing that he used for his work, and then they published a Marvel Age, they'd colored it red which people have asked about. And that was just a mistake. I, I even think, and I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I even think that Mike had kind of thought either leave the blue off and leave all the highlights white, I think. Um, but as we know, that didn't happen. Okay, I need to adjust the shoulder, which is fine. It needs to pop up a little bit more. Now I kind of use my monitor. Yeah, that looks better. It might be a bit much. Let's see if I cut it in a little bit.
and that's getting there. Here's the thing on a commission. You have time to make these little adjustments. If this was a, a monthly book, there's no way I would have the, the luxury to kind of, you know, try to make everything as perfect as I could and tweak this, tweak that. I would be needing to move on. I'd let my anchor fix that <laughs> if they caught it. All right, so I think I think we got the beginnings of a winner here. And uh, I guess I will call it ammonia, huh? Uh, nail polish remover. I don't think so. Will the ammonia, will it lift it out? Or will I have to scrub and get my hands all nasty and inky? I think what I'm going to do before I leave here tonight, too, is um, get the table and my setup ready to go for the, for the quick head sketch. I think that um, that'll be better. Uh, it's almost 10 till 3 is what I'm showing. Ammonia. Well, it's a ceramic. Uh, I didn't think it would dry like that being ceramic. I had an inking stone, which I know they used to grind ink in, but I used to put ink in it and it was kind of cool. But it's huge and heavy. Wow, that's interesting. I'll have to see if if, uh, if I got some ammonia at the house. And um, it just wiped right out, AG? Like uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy? Like, like that fast? Well, I'll tell you, um, I will wrap this part one up. I'm going to have to, uh, I need to come up with a thumbnail. And I think it might be some sort of text because I don't want to go back and do the finished piece. And I, I don't really see the need to scan in this, but I want to do something... Um, that will represent a comic art studio commission. <laughs> I love that. Okay, for you people uh, at home that aren't reading the chat, uh, AG is, uh, let's just say, you know, he's, 
he's uh, he he doesn't need hair products. We'll just say that. Um, and so he said hairspray will work too, meaning taking the ink out of my uh, little uh, ceramic palette there. And he said, uh, I don't have any of that around though for obvious reasons. So good, good, good for you, AG. We gotta, we gotta laugh at ourselves. That's, that's the uh, first step. We all have to learn we're not perfect people and uh, that, you know, we're all going to have something that we should be able to take in stride and have a good laugh at. I know I do, and I share it with y'all. Um, so yeah, okay, I will. Uh, I'm gonna set the board up for tonight. I am going to. Uh, man, it looks like I might be doing a Punisher. Um, I could go really dark on that Punisher, though. See, that's that's what I'm thinking. That one, I would go deep shadows. Deep shadows. Maybe even a full black background. With his face and the his, you know, like the top of the skull and eyes coming out. Um... So, anyway... What I think I'm going to do is what I did before and I never used it was on my little craft paper thing that I tape. Oh, don't don't put the pressure on me, Joe. Because I, I don't know if I can pull the Punisher off, but I might give it a shot. I might have to go with the with the guy's other choice. Because um, it's not going to be a Mike Zek Punisher. It would be a John Beatty Punisher, but I, I just might give it a shot and... Um, like I said, uh, I think on uh, my best bet on that would be go really dark and just have the face and the skull popping out. Um, so let me give that some thought. <laughs> I'll try not to, Joe. I appreciate. I appreciate the. Uh, oh. Um, What's the word I'm looking you have in me? That's what I'm looking for. I appreciate your confidence. Okay, so I uh, hope you all enjoyed this. Hope it was some fun. Uh, you know, you'll you'll get to watch this piece uh, from start to finish as it uh, continues to evolve, and and then it'll be shipped off to David. So, uh, like I said, I'm gonna set the table up for tonight. Get the uh, thumb or get the uh, event planned and uh, I will hopefully see some of you all if not everybody here <clears throat> and then some at 7 p.m. tonight Eastern Time and I believe that uh, I will probably um, work on this some some more tomorrow because uh, after I do that stuff I'm gonna run home um, uh, might grab a quick bite to eat, and then I usually come back to my office once I spent some time hanging out with Jacob and uh, seeing what he's been up to. All right, so appreciate it, everybody. And um, hey, if you're here, I will see you later. If not, uh, you can catch the replay. And uh, thanks again. I appreciate y'all. See you soon. Bye now.